Pilot Drain Man here and today I have got a very exciting video. In today's video we are going to be checking out this one of a kind never seen before aluminum drone frame. That's right you saw it you thought it was titanium and it's not. It's aluminum. Let's go. All right, pilot. So I am excited because it's not every day that we get to see a new material enter our drone frame market. It just seems that time after time, material after material, carbon fiber is just far superior. It's lighter, it's cheaper, it's stronger, and it can just take hits better. Well, when I crash, it breaks. That's fine. Rip the arm off and put on a new one, right? So we're trying to come up with new ideas in new ways. And not too long ago, Zebroy came out with a full titanium drone frame. And it was like, titanium, that's the way to go. But titanium can be pretty heavy. Well, they dropped this guy here. And this is the Zebroy Prometheus. This was a full titanium drone frame. And not only was it titanium, so it was supposed to be more durable. It's just really cool looking. I mean, look at this thing. The arms are actually like sideways. And it was almost a way to drop weight, make it more aerodynamic. And it it's titanium, so it's got to be stronger. So once I got my hands on this frame, I made a video on it. And in the video, down in the comments, I mean, I was hit left and right. Have you ever used titanium screws? They bend. All this frame will do is bend more than Gumby. And if you're a hardcore proxy ripper, forget it. This guy, 190 grams, you having a laugh, titanium won't break but it will bend, and that is a no for me. Titanium is more brittle than steel, absolutely more brittle than carbon fiber. This should be interesting. And sadly enough, when I built this guy and took it out to fly, it felt good, tad bit heavy, but my first crash was in grass, and this thing just folded up, and I spent a long time bending it back to make it resemble a frame. So not only was I let down, but all these guys were right. And that was all she wrote for the titanium frame. Now, this is grade two, so until someone makes a grade five, which I don't know how heavy that would be, looks like titanium is out. This frame is made by Kin FPV, and you can check him out on his website at kinframes.com and he's got all sorts of amazing products and all types of awesome frames. My personal favorite is the ISO. That is this guy right here. Absolutely beautiful. It is a very beefy frame, but I like the strength, which is why I'm on the hunt for something a little bit better. Now, on his website, you'll see that this frame is called the AT6. This is a 7075 aluminum freestyle frame. It's 85 bucks, it's nothing crazy. I just had to have it, had to try it. But down here, he specifies and says, when we released the 6061, the biggest question we got was, why not 7075? So here it is, stronger, lighter, and sleeker. So I'm excited because this frame is not heavy, it does feel strong, and it does look cool. So I'm excited to build this frame and try it out, and I'm curious, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this frame's gonna be able to hold up in crashes, or is it gonna be even less superior than the titanium, which folded up on my very first crash? Aluminum is very, very conductive, so we need to be mindful when building this guy that absolutely nothing is touching. Now, carbon fiber, which is also conductive, but nowhere near near as conductive as aluminum. The aluminum looks absolutely beautiful and he does specify in the notes that if you wanted, you could get this not brushed because it is brushed right now and you could get that shiny chrome look which may or may not look better. Hmm. 
Interesting. When you order your frame, you get to pick your color of your TPU. It comes with a very nice kit. You've got the Immortal T holder here. We've got the Caddx Vista holder here. I'm going to put my Vista right here. You've got some protectors for your feet. They get tucked in by the motors. And you've got an awesome camera cage that's 3D printed. And right up here, you got the adjustable GoPro mount. I did not get a GoPro. I went ahead and printed my own. I printed it in a similar silverish color and it clips right in here and it's adjustable. You literally pull these two screws out and you can get any angle that you would like that's within this specified range. I run the Hero 8, but he also has it in the 9, 10, 7, 5, 6, whatever your GoPro status is, you can go ahead and get yourself a mount. He even has the STL files on the website if you have your own printer and you want to just print it yourself. I don't know about you guys, but when I think of aluminum, the first thing that comes to mind is like a can. Like, I mean, that's not strong. That's not going to hold up in a crash. My first thought is the first crash, this thing's going to dent and break, but it's not your can aluminum. This is actually 7075. This is strong aluminum. This stuff is this stuff is pretty beefy and pretty sturdy. I have a good feeling this guy is going to take a hold of the sky. Many pilots are going to try it and run it and they might actually fall in love with it. And we may put carbon fiber behind us. So one of the most important things is weight, right? When we're flying drones, weight matters. And when I built the Prometheus, it was heavy. It really, really was. It's supposed to be stronger, so if it's a heavier quad, I can sacrifice a little bit to have a much stronger frame. One that doesn't break and doesn't bend, but a stronger frame, I will sacrifice a little bit of weight. I'll get comfortable on the sticks, I'll get the hang of it, but guess what? I won't be buying frames all the time. All right, let's go ahead and check this part out real quick. I wanna throw it on the scale and just take a peek. I'm gonna power this up. I know that you can't see, but I have it on grams right now and it says zero. This here is a carbon fiber ISO also made by Kin Frames and it is absolutely beautiful. He makes many, many frames. It's got 3D prints. It's got some very beefy arms as you can see. We're gonna throw it on the scale. We are at 240 grams. Keep in mind, it is far beefier, no? Yes, it is far, far beefier. But let's see, at 240 grams against my aluminum 7075, here we go, 216 grams. So is it really a weight difference? <laughs> okay, that's no GoPro mount on either one of them, but if I was to slim out this carbon and get it to be the exact same footprint as this frame, I'm probably looking at a little bit lighter with the carbon, but at the end of the day, if this is much stronger, then why would I care about a couple grams? All right, Pots, I have a quick pro con list that I'd like to check out with you, and yes, it is for bicycles, and drones are not bicycles, but... It speaks a little bit on the materials and it may give us a little bit of insight. So it says carbon fiber bike frames, pros and cons. I wanna run through these real quick. So the pro is that the carbon fiber is lighter. It's also stronger and less dense. It's stiffer and more responsive, but this improves handling. So if we're talking about handling a bicycle and handling a drone, maybe not so much, but carbon fiber frames can last longer because they don't fatigue. I am not going to say that's true for drones because we have all had, well, I have had a drone frame where my arms will actually become weak and I can kind of twist my carbon a little because it's fatiguing. So it's also more efficient because they are lighter, more aerodynamic, and more rigid. No corrosion, that is true. You do not have to worry about your carbon fiber corroding. Higher end and more advanced technology, I don't see how that's a plus, but it is. What are the cons? So carbon fiber is more expensive. Durability can be an issue because carbon frames can crack from a light impact in some cases. Who has experienced that? Where they've gone down, not that hard, 
and it shatters. Harder to carry luggage. That is definitely a huge con with carbon fiber drone frames. How am I gonna carry my luggage? Bad for the environment because carbon fiber is not recyclable. If you care about the environment, this is very important. You cannot recycle your frames. Imagine, when I'm done flying this and it's broken and beat up and done, I can recycle it. That's a huge plus. Safety can be an issue because carbon fiber frames will fail without warning if they are compromised. Let's jump down to aluminum just for fun. Aluminum is cheaper. Woo! At 85 bucks for a full drone frame and 85 bucks for a full carbon fiber frame. I'm not seeing that. Aluminum is more durable. I thought it said up here. Oh, we have stronger carbon fiber, but more durable on the aluminum. Aluminum can withstand a harder impact without cracking or failing because it is less brittle. <laughs> now you're singing my song. I'm getting more excited now. <laughs> more environmentally friendly. We knew that. You cannot mount luggage. We know that. Safer because aluminum is less likely to fail unexpectedly. So that means those little baby crashes that take you out shouldn't happen on this guy. What are the cons? The cons are a harsher ride because the frame is more rigid. Whoo, that's big because if we're talking about a frame where we've got arms, modular arms, ones that can be removed and replaced, which can still happen with aluminum, but they are locked in and packed down with screws. So you, mm, they're right, they're strong, they're tight. Is that gonna cause a different set of vibrations? As drone pilots who code and modify the flight controller uh, to take care of these different noises and cancel this stuff out, the vibrations, our flight controllers aren't tuned for aluminum frames. So although we could do that, they are not designed for that, right? So I don't know. If we get a different level of noise from aluminum, we may run into some new problems that would have to be tweaked and figured out. That's all I'm saying. Aluminum frames don't last as long because the metal fatigues over time. Ah, that seems hard for me to believe, but hey, until we take this to the sky, we won't really know. All right, pilots, so looking at this aluminum frame, I am super excited to build it and try it, but I wanna know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is gonna be any better than carbon fiber, or is carbon fiber still going to be the superior frame? So please let me know down in the comments. I also am interested, do you guys wanna see this get built? Do you wanna see this outside thrashing and bashing? Do you guys wanna know, will it hold up stronger, or do you already know that answer? So my uh, bicycle pro and con list has triggered some new thoughts and it's got me curious. I personally cannot wait to try it out, but I'm curious, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we may be entering a new era? I want to give a special shout out to Ken FPV. He makes awesome, awesome frames. You can go check them out at Ken frames.com. I'll put a link for you down in the video description. If you are liking the aluminum idea, hey, go get yourself an AT6. All right, pilots, I hope that I got your gears moving and you're curious as to whether carbon fiber is still the superior material for building our drone frames. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.